Hello and welcome to another reading from the book Our High Calling, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Reminders of Our Heavenly Home, September 1st. Thou, even thou art Lord alone, thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens with all their host, the earth and all things that are therein, the seas and all that is therein, and thou preservest them all, and the host of heaven worshippeth thee. Nehemiah 9.6 there is beauty in the valley's awful grandeur, in the solemn, massive cleft rocks. There is majesty in the towering mountains that look as if they touched the heavens. There are the lofty trees with their delicately formed leaves, the spires of grass, the opening bud and blossoming flower, the forest trees and every living thing. They all point the mind to the great and living God. Every faculty of our being testifies that there is a living God, and we may learn from the open book of nature the most precious lessons in regard to the Lord of heaven. In this study, the mind expands, is elevated and uplifted, and becomes hungry to know more of God and his majesty. We have awakened in our hearts feelings not only of reverence and awe, but of love, of faith, of trust and entire dependence upon one who is the giver of all good. And as I look at his marvelous works and see the evidence of his power, I instinctively inquire, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? Psalm 8, 4 All the greatness and glory of these wonderful things in God's house can only be appreciated as they are in the mind associated with God and the future home of bliss he is preparing for those who love him. While we talk freely of other countries, why should we be reticent in regard to the heavenly country and the house not built with hands, eternal in the heavens? This heavenly country is of more consequence to us than any other city or country on the globe. Therefore, we should think and talk of this better even an heavenly country. And why should we not converse more earnestly and in a heavenly frame of mind in regard to God's gifts in nature? He has made all these things and these signs that we shall see God in his created works. These things are to keep God in our remembrance and to lift our hearts from sensual things and bind them in bonds of love and gratitude to our Creator. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to join me tomorrow for another reading from the book, Our High Calling. God bless you.